rest of today's events look like? Uh, while we're still in recovery mode, it's really impossible to give you a timeline. Uh, we will be here the remainder of the day. Do you mind going over what you do know when this started, when you guys were called here, and just kind of what's happened so far? Uh, fire call came in this morning at about 12.40 Central Time. Uh, and I believe the caller stated that there were two boats on fire today. When the uh, fire department arrived, uh, considerably more than two boats. Uh, the fire had begun uh, on the shoreline end of the dock and had spread out towards the river. Can you confirm that two people have been confirmed dead? I can confirm fatalities. I don't have any. Okay. Right now, a bunch of guys out in the water, a bunch of boats. Is that a recovery effort? We've seen boats kind of kind of focus on one area. Can you say if anybody's been pulled out of the water that, this morning? That's, partial, that's a partial recovery area. That's also a, a, a partial. Uh, we've got some machine from oil, gas, and the fuel that we have to contain to uh, try to keep the an environmental hazard, so part of it is that too. But there is a recovery effort out there. How many guys do you have out doing the recovery efforts right now? Uh, we might have uh, 50. Wow. Okay. Is that a typical number? Is that, that is, a lot? That is atypical uh, due to the fact that this boat dock is uh, there's a lot of debris out there, and uh, it's just near impossible for a uh, small team to search. And in your time with the EMA, have you ever seen something quite like this? Uh, not in my time with EMA, but I happened to be present at the Bridgeport explosion 21 years ago. That would be uh, uh, comparative. What is the most difficult part about this process right now, the recovery process? The recovery process, the, the water conditions. Uh, it's January and the water's pretty cold. Uh, there's a lot of debris in the water. And, uh, makes it difficult for the rescue folks to get to where they need to be. Are there concerns for them as well? Absolutely. Do they have hypothermia gear? They are, they are uh, dressed for diving in cold water, but uh, still their time under and in the water is limited. So they need uh, extra dive teams to uh, spell them and allow them a break. Is this dog just completely gone? I just can only see, you know. Yeah, it's a total. Yeah. Can you confirm how the fire started? Cannot. We just know at this point that there was a fire. What kind of community outreach have you seen up here? I know we've had sausage biscuits here and there's some churches coming out. There's always a tremendous outreach here in Jackson County. The folks here pitch together. Uh, the restaurant here has, uh, has cooked food for first responders and, and folks. Uh, so that's not a good thing. That happens a lot. Can you speak to the community here, or just the people that either lived here or the neighbors? I mean, I've seen so many people that aren't first responders here this morning and kind of a lot of hugs, a lot of neighborly people. You said it. That's, uh, we take care of each other. Are you at all able to speak uh, about the, the conflict or the challenges of fighting the fire on the water versus the land? I know you're not a fire department. I, I, I'm not a firefighter, but I can uh, only imagine. Right up in the fire truck, and the fire is uh, 150 feet out on the water. It's kind of tough. Uh, what's the purpose of the drone in the air right now? Is that y'all's drone, or that, that drone is, is uh, being used by the state fire marshal's office right okay. now for investigative purposes? Gotcha. How many people were injured? Uh, we recovered seven folks from the water this morning and transported them to Highlands Hospital, and it's mainly with, uh, as far as I know, hypothermia and exposure uh, issues. So would you say, I mean, they're not like seriously injured, but, but more of... I can't confirm that, okay. but uh, I saw quite a few of them leave here this morning, okay. and most of them were annual before. They okay. were walking out on their own. Okay. We've seen a lot of equipment coming over here. Are you guys going to have to start pulling boats out as part of the recovery out there? Absolutely. Can you There's, talk about that a little bit? The, the boats, what's left of the boats and the debris from the dock have to be removed from the slips before the divers can go down and, and uh, continue their recovery underneath the boats. And do you know when that will get started? Uh, as soon as we can get the equipment in place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.